We are back at the Dragon's Lair. Uh, by the time this video rele is released, I'm doing New York Pro. Everyone knows it. We don't need no special invites. We don't need no Arnold Classic. Gives me enough time to continue to improve and then diet down hard for the show. So I'm excited to be entering this show. And this is also a special show for me just because um, this was the show I actually qualified for my first Olympia. So I think it'd be pretty cool to kind of repeat that. Except this year, we'll win it. That's, that's the main objective here. Um, but with that being said, AC Muscle is doing a birthday giveaway starting January 30th to February 6th, where there will be four winners, and you will receive a $100 gift card. You have to be following me and HD Muscle, and comment two friends below, unlimited entries. Let's get started. Be a Smith machine on the man. That's a good position. I don't, I'm not a fan of going straight up and down. I do like a little bit of an incline. I just think it hits the shoulder a little bit better than going straight upright. I feel like going straight upright kind of hurts me a little more. So I do prefer an angle. Heaviest Smith machine ever, dude. So again, remember, no longer rest periods here. You know, we're still in the beginning, gaining, beginning phases of prep, so we don't need to be, you know, trying to move and groove and groove, you know. We're still fresh, so we're still gonna try and push weight, still try to get stronger. The goal is to get stronger, you know, leading up to the show. Obviously not, you know, when you hit about three weeks out, even four weeks out, you don't really wanna try and hit PRs, but Still want to be training pretty, pretty heavy, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to see how this feels. Hit this for a couple reps. I feel like I can get probably 10 or more with this. This is what, this is what I'll probably do. Um, but if I feel like I can get more, I'll just go up a little bit. This is a heavy Smith. I know we don't use this one, so I'm trying to gauge it. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll go up. We'll do two and a quarter. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to the RP Strength app. You know, those, I've been using their app this entire time. I know you guys don't see me use it during my training sessions, but I remember what my numbers are, so I kind of go home and plug it. I don't really like to stop and plug it during training. I kind of just like to train. But again, if you guys don't have this training app, this is something you guys truly need. You know, it tracks your progression, tells you, it asks you, you know, if you trained intense from the previous session, if you have any joint pain, um, you know, it tells you how many reps to leave in the tank, 
tells you when to go to failure, tells you when to push, tells you when to pull back. It asks you a lot of questions which will help dictate your next workout. So it is one of those apps you have to be completely, completely honest with. And I think that's what I love about it because it's really a trainer in itself. You know, so if you don't have it and you're a beginner, I would suggest get it. But even if you are, you know, an advanced, I think it's still extremely beneficial. I use it, so, and I thoroughly enjoy it. One. Let's do that nine reps. Again, I, I don't know. This, this, this machine is just really heavy. So there's not much I can do. I mean, this is better. I mean, I think last time I used a Smith was like a plate and a quarter, so. We are progressing. So that was nine reps. So now uh, we're gonna do a back off set. Pause here. Keep going until I hit 20. Can we do a rest pause? Until we hit 20 reps. And then we finish off with partials. Just to really burn that shit out. This was a pretty light warm up. Definitely could have gone heavier. Um, but it's okay. We'll touch this for a good eight to 10, see how that feels. Then probably go up a little bit or just stay. getting lighter here. So we'll go to 120, see how that feels. One. Two. Hey. 
Ben. So you are 10 reps there. Contraction was really good, but we are going to do a down set. I know people keep asking now that I'm doing New York, like, we're going to change your training split. No. No, I'm going to keep it four days. You know, I'm going to ride this out and see how it goes. You know, if down the road we feel we need to incorporate a fifth day, then, you know, that's fine. But we both agreed that, you know, we're going to keep it four. I just have to go a little more intense on cardio as you would want. So that's fine. I love cardio. I haven't done stairs. I'm still a little shaky about it. Uh, but bike's been good, so we'll stick with the bike. You know, down the road, I want to incorporate some stairs. I probably will, but right now I think a uh, bike is good. Come on. Oh, right, so I don't really think I need a warm up per se. So we'll kind of just get into it. I'm not putting a number on it. Just, just double digits. Feels good. So I'll probably stay there, honestly. Just do that set again. I'll probably do three sets here, which is fine. some partials but kind of just went down bro so I don't think I need the partials today now we'll move on to dumbbell shuggies We're gonna go up. 
part of 170s. And then we're gonna back off to a lighter set. Or I'll try to get like a, like 20, 25 reps. Really pump the trap up. But I guarantee I control it like perfection. Probably won't get high reps. I'm thinking eight to 10. But we're gonna take these 190s for a hot spin. <clears throat> That's heavy, you know? The traction wasn't bad. Shocked myself on that one. But now we're gonna do one more set. Really make sure the contraction is what it needs to be. So we'll do like, like I said, upwards of 20 reps and be higher. I'll probably grab like the 110s, super light. Cause I really want to control these and squeeze as hard as I can. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I felt good for today. So we are gonna do one set of uh, front raises. We're gonna do dumbbell. We're gonna do both arms at a time. This one set, high rep, double digits. Above 10 at least. So I am gonna go pretty light because I don't, I don't wanna go too heavy. Um, I don't think after pressing, generally I think that might be all you need, but it hasn't really been hurting me at all, so whatever. So you guys have a better idea. A lot of people will go all the way down. Tension's off here, there's no tension. You stop here, there's still tension. Tension, 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 no tension. As soon as you come here, to me the movement's done. You fucked up. Start here, swing up, back right here. There's tension. That's why people, you see people swinging these fucking 60s and 70s. Yeah, I could do it too, but like, for what? You're missing the main part, which is the constant tension. So there's no constant tension throughout the whole thing. To me, you're just missing a main piece of the exercise. So it's not all about weight. It's about the tension. More tension, bigger muscle, better results. All right, now we move on to the triceps. I always like this uh, Vulcan grip, Vulcan grip better. Like I said, I don't like the rope too much because I just feel like I'll lose grip. I don't want to lose grip. I don't know why that sounded funny to me. <laughs> I want to just be able to press down and not worry about nothing. That's why like people hate on like machines, which I understand. Free weights definitely have the role. I love free weights. But when you're in a machine, you're just able to keep track. Constant tension of just that muscle, your main focus. And free weights are very good because actually it helps you get stronger on machines because you're working on the stabilizers. Uh, but free weights are good for the stabilizer muscles. They incorporate more muscle groups, which in return, yeah, you'll probably get bigger, get a little leaner, burn more calories. But I also like the machine work to just be able to focus on that main movement that I'm working on. So 
15 reps. That was a good warm up. We're gonna go up a little bit. Hopefully, able to maximize that. Oh. We got 15 reps there. We'll definitely stay there for another set. That was good. So, I didn't want to do a warm up there, but last time that was a working set. But this week, it was light, very light. So, we went up three notches there. We'll see how many we can get. Double digits. Double digits is the key to success. All right. Eight. Uh. 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 Oh. Double digit. That's all we care about. Double digit. Listen, I'm not against heavy reps. You guys seen all the videos. You know, I'll go low reps. But I just think for you know the ultimate pump, ultimate muscle growth. I I would say 10, 12 is the ultimate sweet spot. So, and I'm all about the sweet spot. Okay, now. We're gonna do shape by push down. Set for sure. That felt nice. Second set, we got 20 reps on that. That was good. Um, I right, said so now, you know, I like to finish off a little chest work. So we'll go over to the incline chest machine. One or two sets there. End with a fly movement, and that should be good. Hey. 
Mày I remember doing after shoulders. One plate was hard for 10. And now two plates is pretty light for 10. So we're gonna do a second set there. And then we're gonna move on to the cable fly. Pi just one rest pause set. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it, that was good. Strength is, it's gonna be a good show. Yeah, I remember I, I told Jim, I was like, it's cool, bro. I'll win either way. Don't worry about it. He's like, I like that. I like that. I'm not trying to go too heavy here. Not that I like to go heavy on flies anyway, but pause in a stretch, squeeze at the top. I know I said I was just gonna do one step, but that wasn't too, what's up bro? That wasn't too taxing. Not too much on it, so I'll do another one. Nice hard squeeze. Again, ain't nothing better than nice, nice, nice chest pump, you know? I don't know why I don't ever start with that exercise for my regular chest days. That is such a good fucking machine. A flex press? All right, so that's a wrap for today's uh, shoulder, tricep, crap, chest pump training session. Um, obviously, this is going to go on the HD Muscle channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, we'll be doing more videos for them as well as a lot of videos for mine. Um, you know, I feel really good about this prep. Um, I definitely feel confident. Um, we got some, I like to think I'm pretty ahead of the game here. I've been 15 weeks out. Um, you know, weight. Again, it's staying around like 278-ish, 280, which is good weight for me. Um, carbs are relatively high. Fats are relatively high. Um, so my plan, things go according to plan. We're just kind of going to cruise right into this. You know, obviously there'll come a point where things are going to get, you know, we have to push, but right now we're in a good spot to kind of just guide our way in. And I think um, I'll be able to stay fresher that way as well. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. And uh, we'll see you for the next HD video, whenever that comes. <laughs>